We're going to take you through a compressor oil pressure check on a reciprocating compressor. This could be an X426, X430, or an X640. The screw compressors that you may have in your fleet do not have oil pumps and this would not apply. To check the oil pressure, what we'll need to do is put on a couple sets of gauges. One gauge we'll put right here on the oil port itself so we can check to see what the oil pressure is and the refrigerant pressure. And we will also have to put a suction gauge on our suction side to record the suction pressure. The unit will have to be started up and run so that we get the refrigerant liquid boil out of the oil. Once that oil level is pretty stable, then you should go ahead and be able to take an accurate pressure reading. Our oil pressure should be somewhere between 15 PSIG and 45 PSIG. Now we do have a pressure release right here that's set at 45 that's inside the housing. If the pressure would drop below 15 PSIG, that's a good indication that we must have some bearing wear or some worn parts within the housing. Once we start this unit up and run it for a while, let it stabilize, watch your gauges, observe to see what your pressures are. What we'll need to do is check our suction pressure and subtract that then from the pressure that we are going to obtain on our oil pump port. We subtract the difference and that will then be our true oil pressure. What I'd like to do now is give you a live demonstration. Our suction pressure is running 51 PSIG. Our oil pump pressure and suction pressure is running 85 PSIG. Subtract the difference. 51 from 85 is true oil pressure of 34 PSIG.